hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today i will be um reviewing a well two primers one of them is uh no not this one sorry makeup revolution pore blur and the urban decay all nighter so we're gonna put this baby to the test to see how many how many hours it actually lasts so let's get started okay so I have now I have prepped my eyebrows um, so now I will just uh, go ahead and use the um, all-nighter primer base let's see I feel the consistency it feels thick like a thin kind of like like that kind of uh, thick lotion but it's a primer obviously I will be going in as well with the um, Makeup Revolution Blur, pore, pore Blur, because I do have large pores. And we want to hide them not have them um noticeable so i am getting a good amount um, like i said it's like anyways i am getting a good amount and um let's see how well it works so as for the pore blur i like how it works it does cover up your pores the thing is though is that I feel like if you move it around too much, it tends to do like move the product. Like you can see like the product moving after that. So you're gonna have to eventually, you know, instead of rubbing it, try to tap. So today I will be doing a simple look, or what I like to call simple because yeah. So I will be using a Storybooks eyeshadow palette. I got this in my boxy charm and I did like the colors for this one. You could basically do like a little neutral the um smoky eyes with this also. So yeah. So today I will be using this brush came in my Ipsy box. I usually tend I really like check the brush unless it's like a shade brush. I already um conceal my eyes so that um I could apply the eyeshadow. I use the Infallible from L'Oreal in shade Latte 375. So we'll be going in with Spindle. I am liking this pore blur. Sometimes I feel like we sleep on the Makeup Revolution a lot. Let me tell you guys, when it comes to making dupes and all that, that's like your main go-to brand. They have some really nice dupes. Oh yeah, my baby girl's here too as well. So you guys see her in the background. Hear her in the back background? It's her. <laughs> So now I will be using my BH Cosmetics B5. I believe this is from a Serious Pro. They do sell them in singles. I have not seen them in sets. And I am going with um, um Thorn. There you go. Thorn. I don't want to do nothing like too crazy. So I was thinking about showing you guys on over Instagram and doing like a couple videos of what my week, most of my weekends consist of. So now you guys can see what I do over the weekend. I went this one and then I went back with this one just so that we could give it like that little 
Okay. I want to show you guys some hacks of what I do because I am not a pro at doing cookies. I did post a look yesterday and trust me, it took me forever to just, you know, like. But then I was like, you know what? Let me outline my eye first with an eyeliner pencil. Like, I did like a very nude color. And then I went over the top shots and that's just how I cleaned it. Y'all, we should do like a petition when they have Hulu, Netflix, and Disney instead of ESPN because I don't even watch ESPN. I'm just like, what do I want ESPN for? That's a good bundle though. For that price, you get all three streaming services. Okay, so both of my eyes are clean now. And now we're going to pack in with flat so my well kind of like a flat brush but not, i'm looking for this brush right here this is also my beach cosmetics it came in a set number five so with that some purple from the storybooks i am going back with thorn because we did um clean because i might clean the outer corner of this so i'm just gonna tap it glitter with this we could finish completing the look okay so now I will be using this glitter palette from glam pro forever I did buy this palette with a friend of mine she um, works like in that door indoor mini mall and if you follow guys follow her on instagram and um, if some of my followers follow her on instagram her instagram is at glam dolls she started off um selling makeup and now she sells like clothes and if you guys are looking for any makeup artist go to her she does like this beautiful amazing looks just check out her page she has er almost everything it's good. any tips go to her like literally she's like my go-to person so yeah i did purchase this with her and they have like this very beautiful colors and um if you gave it every guys do go just be like oh hey jenny sent me jay glam sent me so or recommended you but yeah like i said she's she's like my my go-to my go-to person so, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my setting spray from the Creations, and it just launched not that long ago. I did like the. I, if you guys see my previous video, you guys will know my thoughts on the prep, the prime, pore primer thing, and all that. But the setting spray, I always love setting sprays. And it smells good, it smells like flowers. So, I will be going in with this white one right here. Okay, so I have added the glitter and I so for glitters I did one with, with a couple a couple more because I wanted my look to kind of pop out so I, besides the white I did went in with this pink one and the um silver one so so now we're gonna go head back with that same flat brush that we were using like this and bring it in the outer corner now to make it stand out now i will be doing an eyeliner i will be using an eyeliner i will be using this is from glam light and it is the calligrapher so it has like this very very fine tip okay 
So I already did both my eyes. I see dramatic dramatization. Okay, anyways. <laughs> um, so I already did both my eyes and now it's time to put the primer to the test. So as always, I am going with my go-to foundation, which is my Beauty Creation Flawless Stay Foundation, because right now it's literally been my go-to foundation. So, and I enjoy wearing this foundation a lot for work, to go out, to you know, because I just I really enjoy this one. This one's like, and it's affordable. That's another thing I like about it. So, setting spray. Even though my beauty blender is already wet, you guys can see, ya está gordita, así como cuando cuando uno moja. I always like to go in with the setting spray, and you know, just give it that extra. Two primers today. I am using the Makeup Revolution Pore Blur. <coughs> Pour Blur and the Urban Decay All Nighter. I am very, very, very excited because that primer works like this primer. This Blur primer. I'm not lying to you guys. But like I said, the only difference is that for the Makeup Revolution, if you move it a lot, a lot, a lot like, just like by swiping like this all the time, it will like start moving the product around and it will not settle. Nah, instead of like this one. But if you follow the steps or if you feel like you can follow the steps of, let me apply it like this and then tap on it and it will stay, it will, stay, it will blur your pores. And I believe it's 10 bucks. 10 12 bucks are on there, on that price. And the good thing is you guys can don't have to wait to buy it, get it online. You guys could just order it online through the Ulta and go pick up, or if you guys want to like go through your haul at Ulta and get that snag that, go for it because it's amazing. I didn't think I was gonna find a, a blurring primer that would actually, like, you know, do that as um work as a high end, but just for the whole place. Wow, I'm amazed. I'm amazed today. So I am going in with my concealer. Okay, so now for contour, this is in this contour stick, and this one is from When a Wild, from the old When a Wild. Okay, so now I am going to um double check there's no creases under my eyes because I will be applying the setting powder. And for setting powder, I am going in with my fancy one in color lavender. I really love it. So I don't let it sit on a set a lot because I do have dry skin and I my skin to feel like super dry now we're going in with our blush for blush I will be using the Juvia's Serafina Afri Africa blush by Juvia's so I will be using my 
and gold brush from Wet and Wild. Voy a hacer. And you guys already know my go-to bronzer, so. My go-to bronzer is this one. My butter bronzer. Uh, uh, uh. Precision's formula. Now for under my eyes, I want to use the using this um kind of like pencil brush from obviously it's from Beauty Cosmetics number 10 and this one also comes in a set. So I'm going with Briar Rose. neutral not that crazy not that crazy and i'm adding glitter right now for the outer corner of my eye i am using the color fairies so how is it how far how is it looking i feel like it looks very neutral very calm nothing too crazy so for highlighter, I'm using the Juvia's, the Tribe Volume 2. And a look is not complete when you wear until you put on your lipsticks. So I've been using the Luxe lipsticks lately and I have been using like the more nude, more, yeah. So I am using again from the powder room. This is a little box that comes with like this. I do like it, but I wouldn't say like you're missing out because you're not. I feel like this could easily do with the NYX cosmetics that powder lip something i know i have one but it's been a while they bought it a while back that's how this feels like the only difference is that this one has a brush and it has like a little spawn heat on the tip so i will be using the color casual dress i'm not lying to you it smells like a box of crayon Boom. Still, my look is not complete, so let me go ahead and play, apply my lashes, and I'll head back. I'll come back. Okay, guys. So I'm back, and so this is the look with lashes. And for lashes, I am using at um, Beauty Muse box. So I follow them on Instagram, and they have like this kind of works like a boxy charm kind of box. Um, but it's I think it's more like a quarter box. Um, yeah, so I got this from them. I really like the lashes, though. Kiss me like that. But, yes, I hope you guys like it. And I hope I was able to help you guys out on this review. Wait, I'm not done. See? I always end up doing it, like, after I'm done. I'm always forgetting something. Me and my head, you know? <laughs> Sitting. So, yeah, there. Yeah. Finish. I'm actually finished this time. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I suck at videos sometimes. But here I am. Anyways, yeah. So, if you guys like it, I will get back to you guys. Do you guys know about the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer and the Makeup Revolution for pore blur so for that so far so good i do like it i do recommend like i said it could be your dupe for the cover fx um 
blurring primer just find the right techniques on how to apply it um but yeah you could just go ahead and purchase that a little too. that is my one of the recommendations i do have um i haven't really tried many revol makeup revolution products like i said i haven't gotten my hands on the eyeshadow nor the lip gloss because i know they have also like lipsticks kits kind of like the kelly kind of lip kit thing i do i have tried their foundation stick i also do love their foundation stick and it's very very affordable so yeah so those are my tips for today and i'll get back to you guys on the all nighter primer bye remember to subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram at jglambeauty